no woman no child deserves slavery no woman no child deserves to be in prostitution or in brothels the day the world becomes zero tolerant to this that is when our mission will end my name is sunita krishnan i head an organization called sprajwala which is an anti trafficking organization based in hyderabad Our organization is a laboratory of interventions. We've started transition centers. In fact, Prajwala started with one such intervention. It started with around five children. Today, we have educated more than seven thousand children. My own journey began uh, as a survivor of gang rape at the age of fifteen, which made me understand the isolation, the pain, the trauma, and ostracization of. a victim of sexual assault that's when i decided that uh, i will dedicate my life for the sake of women and children who are traumatized and stigmatized because of sexual assault in the first phase it was an exploration of understanding what the problem is i went to brothels i went and stayed in red light areas i went through a whole exploration of understanding what this crime is all about understanding how to respond to it The first obvious challenge is definitely the sex mafia. I've been personally, uh, you know, assaulted more than 17 times in my life. All of that we look at it as uh, as indicators of our success. The beginning first few years of rescues were done on our own where we actually rushed into a brothel, physically pulled out people and things like that. And then one day one of my teammates who was with me during a rescue got murdered. right in front of me and that was a moment of reckoning today all the rescues are done with the police the bigger challenge is not the rescue the process of rehabilitation is perhaps the most challenging process bigger effort is put in to ensure that the girl is on the way to recovery in terms of gaining hope and gaining dignity in her life getting skills to stand up on her feet becoming employable but the real challenge that i face is the attitude of the society after all that and the society says no i don't want to take back this girl that rejection that ostracization that stigma to me is the biggest challenge that i face if each one of us takes the responsibility and we become the change that we want to see in the world i think change is possible